Hey guys, what's going on? Pure here today, and I'm finally back. Uh, my wisdom teeth are finally stopped being assholes and hurting me all the time. Uh, my jaw's still a little, uh, I'm not able to open my jaw as much as I wish I could. Uh, so I still can't really eat many foods that I enjoy to eat because it still kind of hurts my teeth. Uh, but I'm finally back. I'm able to fully talk without having freaking like swollenness, and my tongue is finally normal. It's great. Uh, so I can finally start recording, and now that it's summer break, I'm able to record every day or whenever I want. So, yeah, we're doing a little pet battles thing for my Q&A. Uh, I didn't get as many questions as I wanted to, but it's still great to have questions to answer for you guys. Uh, so if you guys ever have any questions, be sure to ask in the videos or in the comment section below, and I'll save them for next time I have a Q&A, which is hopefully a 1,000 subs, which should take maybe about a month or so to get. Um, also... You may be thinking, uh, huh, another druid, level 90, alliance now, like what? Actually, during the week uh, that I was out, they had a sale where it was any paid service, as in like transfer, name change, faction change, you know, that type of things, was half off. And a lot of my friends transferred from Horde to Alliance uh, that were only Horde, like, I used to have some alliance, some horde, but then all my horde friends went straight alliance, and I was the only, my druid was the only horde left, and I, I wasn't really doing much on him, and I really wanted to start doing stuff on him, but I just didn't want to do it alone, so I made him alliance, and uh, I changed his name instead of Zephyr. That's Zephyr's the horde side. Can't I can't have a druid named Zephyr on the same side? So it's a uh, it's a clever name. I was uh, bored one day, and I was thinking, what, what's a clever name? Uh, that no one else has, and I was looking up names on the WoW Armory and everything, and you know, I was just thinking, Triometry, like, geometry, but with trees, like, uh -huh, look at me, I'm a tree, yeah, and Triometry, um, there was no other person in WoW with the name Triometry, or at least WoW Armory says so, and, uh, the only problem with me transferring Horde is now, I no longer have Lil Zephyr, I now have Little Triometry, and I can't use Lil Zephyr at all, like, I can't even rename him, uh, because he's technically the horde one like right here. I can't I can't <laughs> It's terrible So I have to start over so I'm gonna be getting him up while I'm doing this Q&A thing and uh, I'm hopefully gonna get him to level 25 sometime today uh, so first question is from Leo J God, you know, I've had his comments so much and I don't know how to say his name. I don't know how to say his username. So if I, I butcher your guys' usernames, I'm terribly sorry. I I really don't mean to. Uh, Leo J, J Bobby, Leo J, I don't know. Um, he says, "Yay videos! Uh, what's the best gear you can get through buying stuff off auction house, like leveling, tailoring, and getting your own mage gear?" Uh, honestly, I'm not really sure on the whole. Uh, tailoring thing. I haven't gotten into tailoring. I've only gotten it to about 375 and then I usually stopped it for some reason. Uh, but now that I started my own guild and everything, I'm going to be getting a lot of the skills up so we can get that guild achievement. And me and uh, my a couple friends were doing that. We have a bunch of 90s in the guild. Uh, Blood Crisis on Bleeding Hollow. So if you guys are on Alliance Bleeding Hollow, uh, hit me up and I can invite you to the guild and we can all level it to 25 and stuff and I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, also, uh, let's see, he says, how good is PvP gear compared to PvE gear for PvPing purposes? In terms of tiers, as in, for example, is tier 3 PvE gear on Rogue better than tier 2 PvP gear for PvP? Um, if you're gonna have PvE gear for PvP, uh, you might wanna do gems with PvP power, because the difference between... Uh, PvE gear and PvP gear for 5.3 is the whole, you know, PvE power, or PvP power, excuse me, uh, now that everybody has a base resilience of 65, there's really no difference now for the gear, just besides that one hits a little bit harder. Um, between the two different tiers, as in, like, 
um, a newer tier of PvE versus an older tier of PvP, it actually may be better, sad to say. Um, I don't know the whole difference fully between the PvP power and no PvP power between the stats. So, like, I know in arenas I've seen a lot of high HP characters. So, like, I remember I saw a Warlock with 700 and, like, 20k health. I've never seen that before. And, like, he wasn't hitting as hard as a regular Warlock does. But he was still hitting hard because of Chaos Bolt. And he still was a force to reckon with and we ended up losing anyway. Uh, so, if that answers your question, um, I'm not really the one to ask on the whole PvP, uh, like, the the whole stats behind it. I'm not very good with, like, building PvP power and everything. Like, I usually am the one to follow, uh, gemming and stuff. Like, I'm the one that looks for people who post how to gem and all that stuff. Like, I seriously just got, I'm getting my Druid geared. I think I'm only missing four pieces on the weapon, and I'm almost to the weapon. Uh, and I really don't know what to gem besides, I want to say, uh, haste and crit, I think is what I need to do. An intellect? I don't know. Um, Alright, so moving on to the next question. The next question is by Pistol Penguin, um, and he says, Hey man, great video as always. I also have a question. What are you going to be studying during college? Good lord, I'm getting a bunch of rares. Um, what I'm going to college for is I'm going to be going to Full Sail University, uh, and I'm going to be going for three years online for game development, and then I'm going to be going game. Um, I'm going to be still taking game development online for the fourth year, and then I'm also going to be going for game. Uh, game. Okay, it's game development is online, and game design is on campus in Florida. And I'm thinking about taking game design after because that's more based on programming and everything. Well, game development is the storyline, uh, creating the levels, creating the like the background character information and everything. And I've always loved creative writing, and that's mostly what it is. And then also it's with a twist of gaming and a little bit of programming. Well, game design is full-on programming, and you're able to do a bunch more stuff. You end up drawing characters... And everything and I want to be able to create my own games and uh, I have a couple of ideas that I really what oh that said uh, okay I thought he had tree something I was gonna be like wow all right um but I want to be able to create games and I want to be able to create little like not even like arcade games but like steam games and stuff like that like maybe you could get steam green light uh, and then maybe hopefully work for blizzard or um, eventually work for one of those big companies like Gearbox or something like that that works on big time games and I think that would be a really awesome job and I'm looking to get a internship during the summer you have to be going to college for this you have to be eligible okay to be eligible you have to be going to college and returning to college so like during summer you can get an internship with Blizzard where you work with the game devs um, you test patches and stuff like that and you, you have to go to California for it and I'm thinking about doing that for the summer uh, if I get accepted to the program and you get paid, like, I think $13 or maybe $12 per hour, stuff like that for three months, and then you go back to school and you can do it again, and if you participate in all four years, they'll hire you as, like, as soon as you're done, and I, th I think that's, uh, I think that's pretty cool, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing for college, uh, thanks for the question, that's, uh, yeah, that, I was, I was, god Okay, I was uh, really, you know, wondering if people were going to ask that for this question, and I'm, I'm glad you did. Uh, thank you. Okay, let's see, what's the next one? Alright, so the support vaults uh, question is, do you like sports? If so, what sport? Okay. I, okay, there's a lot of several, there, there's several ways that I can answer this. Okay, so I like to watch, like, if, if it's a sport to watch... I like watching football. Um, I I was raised watching basketball because uh, my dad loved the Bulls and everything because we live in the area. Um, so I was raised watching basketball. I was taking to basketball games a lot, and then my friends all liked going to uh, the Bucks and everything. So I was I like going to basketball games, but on TV I like watching sports. 
Or, wow, I, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I read the question again. Um, I, I like watching football on TV. Uh, Patriots all the way, New England Patriots, my favorite team. Uh, has been since I've been like four or five. I don't know why. It's just for some reason as I was five, I loved that team and I've ever I've loved them ever since. And then I used to play, or I used to um, do Taekwondo whenever I was in sixth grade to tenth grade, and I got my black belt uh, in Taekwondo. I got to second degree black belt. So if you want to consider that a sport, some people say it's not. Some people say it is. And then I also like. Now, if I'm playing a sport, like if I want to play a sport, then I like playing soccer. Um, I'm not very avid on soccer, but like I love whenever my friends do end up playing soccer. Um, I don't mind playing it with them. I find it a fun game, and I loved it in gym and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, I, I there's a lot of a lot of different answers that can be for that question. So, uh, just a little recap is I like watching basketball games in person i like watching football on tv i like playing soccer and i used to do taekwondo so that's yeah that's that's mostly oh my god finally that stupid sound outside finally stopped oh my god i don't know if you guys heard that it was like a pump and if you did i'm so sorry it was like it's like a whirring sound like whirr. it was really annoying freaking been doing it all day I and mean, it's like noon right now maybe it's like one yeah it's almost 1 30 um but yeah, uh, th that was the only questions that were asked. Um, there was a question for my add-ons. Uh, I've actually been asked that several times throughout all my videos. Um, they, they have changed throughout the time that I've been recording, but they mostly generally stayed the same. Uh, wow, that was a very contradicting statement. Anyway, um, I'll just go through a quick little rundown of what my add-ons usually are. Um, oh god, here comes a burp. Okay, sorry. Um, I Over here is Sexy Map. It's for the mini-map, and it kind of changes the outer appearance. Excuse me. It makes it a little more cooler. Um, okay, I'm trying to think. Oh, this is ARCUD, or ARC HUD. ARC, it's like ARC HUD, if you can see that in the bottom left. Um, so that's that's this little thing. It targets... Um, enemy's health, and then it shows your mana right here, and your health, and then it shows enemy, and it can fade in and out. It shows combo points right here if you're a rogue. It's actually, uh, pretty cool. Like, let's see if I can, if it'll show combat. Yeah, it'll show combo points right here, and also right here. This is your energy. It's a, it's a pretty cool add-on to have. Uh, I enjoy it. It used to lag my old computer because I had it really like defined because you can change the settings to be like really smooth and stuff like that. But now my computer is able to run it because I have a different computer. Anyway, um, let's see. I used to have this add-on whenever it would load up, like whenever you would level, it'd be like do 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 do, and it would like do this little box thing, and it was like Final Fantasy level up or something like that, and it was like a a level mod where. Uh, it would show your stats and stuff like that that changed like if you ever played those old games um, on the Game Boy and the old Final Fantasy games and stuff like that. Uh, trying to think of some other ones. Um, if, if you guys don't know how to like change this, like the whole, um, I think it's called HUD. Yeah, I want to say the HUD. All you do is just move frame and then unlock frame. You can do reset position if you want or you can do cast bar underneath. Uh, I don't know if I... Hmm, why not? Alright, so see, it's all the way over here now. And then I can do unlock frame. And uh, now i got to get it back to... There we go. Lock frame, and then you can't you can't move it. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, that, a lot of people have asked me, like they messaged me, like how did I get my HUD set up? And I was just like, I don't know what you mean. And then I realized they meant this part. Um, I usually have a target. I think I, I think I have it on right now. Yeah, have the target of the target. Um, okay, stop attacking. But yeah, so uh, thank you guys for watching. I know I know this isn't really that great of a video. Um, this is a Q and A for my 500 subs. Now I'm at 600 subs. Like I'm gone for a week and I already freaking get another 100 something subs. Like how many do I have? Let me check. Uh, ch 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 let's see. I want to say I'm at like 610. Uh, I was just on my account. God dang it. 
I hit my phone. Also, I'm getting the Samsung Galaxy S4 soon. Alright, I have 616 subscribers as of making this video. I also have 111,000 video views total. And I literally can't thank you guys enough. Like, I, I can't believe I got another 100 subs in a week that I was gone. Like, I was out of commission. I didn't really check my phone or my emails to let me know when people are commenting and subbing. Uh, so I tried to make it up and, uh, like, commenting, even though it was really late. So I'm sorry about that if you guys had a comment and you guys needed me to get to it. I try to be as fast as I can with the comments because I have it hooked to my phone so I can just, like, reply on my phone. Uh, so I'm sorry if I couldn't do that. And uh, I'm finally back. I'm going to be recording a lot more. I'm going to be bringing back the Pet Battles series as soon as Lil Triometry, uh, <laughs> Lil Triometry gets going instead of Lil, Lil Zephyr. I'm never, I'm never going to change Lil Zephyr's name uh, because, I mean, he's Lil Zephyr. We can't change him. Like, look at him. He's adorable. Now I have the blue version, the, the me of, where is he? Summon. Where is he? Ah, oh, there he is. Look at him. Him and his big eyed -ness. Look at him. Let's make this my background. But yeah. So yeah, now I've changed to Alliance for both my characters, my both my nineties that are my main. Um A lot of people also ask me what realm do I play on? I play on Bleeding Hollow and the Venture Co. Uh, I don't play as Venture Co. as much, but that's where my warrior is. I really should have transferred him to Dark Spear to play with uh, one of my friends. Uh, I met him through YouTube. He was a commenter, or not co co not commentator. He was he commented on one of my videos, and then we've been talking ever since. He's pretty cool, and I wish I could have transferred to Dark Spear. So uh, you know who you are. So I'm sorry uh, that I didn't get a transfer. It's because my wisdom teeth and stuff like that. But I'm going to try and transfer sometime this month. I'm going to try and transfer my warrior so I can get him to be on Darkspear. Darkspear is an amazing server. If you guys are on it, you're lucky as hell. Uh, wow, that's, that's a really slow moving. Huh. Okay. Well, um, anyway, uh, thank you guys for... Oh, my God. Look at, look at the little geometry. Okay, I'm going to sign off like this. All right. Uh, so... Yeah, a little triometry and triometry. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to comment below if you have any more questions about my Q and A. Thank you guys so much for being 500 subs, technically 600 subs now. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the Q and A. I know I just said that. Leave a thumbs up for the video. It means a lot. If you guys want to go check out my other content, uh, I know I haven't been doing much, but I'm going to be doing more. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Be sure to slap that like button. Uh, subscribe because you're a beautiful person and if you're already subscribed thank you freaking you're awesome you're beautiful maybe send one of my videos to one of your friends and be like hey this guy's pretty awesome you should you should sub to him that'd be awesome of you that that would I mean that that would be okay wow that's that's my phone sorry guys um that's all I have for today I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video I'm gonna keep I'm, I'm not going to keep saying that. I'm sorry. Uh, as always, I'm Pierre, and I'm signing off. Peace.